Hello, this is the first in a series of videos designed to give you an overview of our uSequencer editor. First of all, I want to give you an overview of what uSequencer actually is and why you might want to use it with Unity. At the most basic level, uSequencer is an event-based sequencer. You might use uSequencer to set up paired animations, scripted events, or full in-game cutscenes. We're going to start by opening uSequencer. You can do this by clicking Window U sequencer. You'll see you're presented with the U sequencer window along with a welcome screen pointing you to various resources, tutorials, documentation, and community resources. You're then free to dock U sequencer anywhere you like. I prefer to give U sequencer a lot of real estate. Once you're happy with the layout, you can create a new sequence with the Create New Sequence button. You can access U sequencer settings with this foldout. From here, you can rename your sequence, set the duration, playback speed, or flag the sequence as a looping sequence. For now, we will leave the settings at their defaults. Just under the Settings foldout, we have three buttons. The Show All button allows you to toggle between showing everything in the uSequencer window and just showing what you currently have animated. We'll come back to this one in the future. The Play Pause toggle and the Stop button allow you to preview your sequence in the editor. uSequencer fully supports running at edit time or play time, so you can use any of these controls whilst the game is running or whilst it's not running. We will now add some timelines to the sequence. We can do this by dragging an object directly from the hierarchy over the uSequencer window. We will now add two timelines, one for our main camera and one for our directional light. You can also remove these timelines by context clicking on them and selecting Remove. Each sequence comes by default with one observer timeline. You can see this at the top of the uSequencer window. The observer timeline allows you to quickly automate and manage cameras in a scene, specifically for camera cuts. In addition to the observer timeline, each object can have a single property timeline and endless events timelines. I'll go into more details about each of these timelines in a future video. For now, let's just add some timelines to the main camera. You can also remove these timelines with a simple context click. You can zoom in on the uSequencer window by using your mouse wheel or scroll gesture whilst hovering over the scrub bar. For faster zooming, hold the control key. You can scroll around in the work area by using the scroll gesture on your trackpad, or Alt-click dragging the work area around. We'll be releasing more videos in the future, and so if you like you can follow us on Twitter or at the UCConser website, or subscribe to our channel on YouTube for all the latest information.